Thank you. Good afternoon. My name is Fidencio Guerra, Jr. I am a McAllenite. I want to thank you all for taking the time to uh, ask the uh, candidates to come forward so you could meet them and see them and see their positions. I've been an attorney for over 36 years. I graduated from the McAllen School System. I graduated from Pan American College and then went to San Antonio and attended St. Mary's Law School in San Antonio. Upon my graduation from law school and passing the bar exam, I came back to Hidalgo County and was with the district attorney's office for three years back in 1974. In 1974, we had only four district courts and one county court at law. Today, we have 11 district courts and seven county courts at law, one of those being a probate court. The difference in your county courts at law and your district courts are that the district courts hear your felony cases, which are criminal cases that carry penitentiary time, and they hear divorces, land cases, and personal injury cases with no limitations. The juries for the district court are 12 members. Your county courts of law hear misdemeanors, so that means if they're convicted of a criminal crime, they're going to do jail time. And they also hear divorces, but their juries are only six people, with the exception of family law cases, which would be a divorce, whether you're entitled to 12 people. I retired as a judge last December after 20 years of, of service. During those 20 years of service hearing cases and trials, I was only reversed once in a civil trial, and that's when the law changed after my summary judgment ruling, and I've never been reversed in a criminal trial. I offer you my services as a full-time judge for Hidalgo County. Thank you very much. Thank you. Judge Aida Salinas Flores. Thank you. My name is Aida Salinas Flores, and I'm your judge of the 398th District Court. It has been an honor to serve you. I have worked diligently to hear cases expeditiously and have presided over thousands of important and difficult cases. I have listened with care to the many stories about people's lives and decided each case, considering all of the evidence presented, the arguments of counsel, and the law applicable to each case. My many life experiences as a daughter, a sister, a mother, a grandmother, a farm worker, a probation officer, a lawyer, a mediator, a municipal court judge, a defense attorney, a prosecutor, and a judge give me a well-rounded perspective on life and its priorities. In addition to presiding over my docket that consists both of civil and criminal cases, I continue to work to improve our judiciary by working together with other components of our criminal and civil justice systems. I work with the district clerk's office with regards to the jury selection process, educating our jurors about the importance of serving on juries and the disposition of cases. I oversee the Indigent Defense Program, which is a model program throughout the state. We continue to fine-tune our program, implementing video teleconferencing for attorneys so that they can visit their clients via, via, via video teleconferencing, and also with the, municipal, with the justices of the peace so that they can magistrate their cases uh, as well. I have served you for the past 11 and a half years with honor and distinction, never shying away from the high profile cases that were assigned to my court. I am seeking re-election to continue the good work that I have been doing as a fair and independent judge. I believe that an independent judiciary is the cornerstone of our democracy. I have conducted my life, my business in this court responsibly and handled this entrusted position with great reverence. I am grateful for your support, for your vote, and the faith that you have placed in me. I ask you to continue to support me by voting for me during the primary election so that I can continue to be your judge of the 398th District Court. Thank you.